Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a haul video for you. I have a lot of stuff. I haven't done a haul video in a while, uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with nail polish because that seems to be the most of what I have. So you guys know I love nail polish. Right now my nails are a wreck. Um, I've been busy today. I've, made, I've already made one video. I've gone to the grocery store. I've cleaned the house. I have so much stuff that I've been doing. Um, and I haven't had time for my nails. So my nails are kind of a wreck right now. So don't judge me. So I'll start with glitter polishes. And I actually just got these today. Um, my uh, grocery store by my house, Giant Eagle, they had a sale on OPI. Buy one, get one free. So I was like, okay, duh, who could pass that up, right? Um, I probably would have left there with a lot more, except there was hardly anything left. And I was surprised that I was able to get what I got. So from the new Mickey Mo or Minnie Mouse collection, I got the Mini Style, which is this polish here. I've had my eye on this for a while, and I just, I don't know, I never got it, but I decided today to go ahead and get it. I think it's really cool. I can't wait to use it. Uh, then I got this one here. It is called Magazine Cover Mouse. And this is one of the liquid sand polishes. And I can't wait to use that one. It looks really pretty. It's red and it, or like a pinky red and it's got some gold in it. So that one should be interesting. Um, right now on my nail, my half picked nail here, if you can see that glitter on there, uh, that's this polish here. This is from Claire's and I just love how chunky it is. It's a really chunky polish. It's $7, but they were having a sale, so I got this, and then I got another nail art pen. Um, if you pull the cap off, there is a little pen underneath, and then if you take the cap, um, if you twist the cap off, it's a brush, and it's a squeeze tube. So I like to do a lot of nail art. If I have any drawing or writing to do, I like to use these. So I got those, and then some other polishes that I got. Um, I got another one from the candy collection at Kohl's. This one is called, what is this called? Oh, Supernova Sky. And I just, again, I like the chunkiness. And I like that it's turquoise. I actually bought this to go with this polish here. This is a Revlon Color Stay polish. This one is called Buttercup. And it's a pale yellow. And I, <clears throat> I'm really into yellows lately, um, as my friend Lou on Instagram is as well. Uh, again, this one's called Buttercup, so I kind of got these two to go together. Um, I just like blue and yellow, like pastel type yellows with like a turquoisey blue. I think it's pretty. Uh, for those of you that have not tried this yet, you need to stop the video right now, go to Walgreens and buy one of these. This is the Sinful Shine with, uh, it's Sinful Colors, it's called Sinful Shine and it has gel technology in it. This one is called Breakaway. If you're friends with me on Instagram, you already saw this color on my nails. This is a gorgeous blue, and it is very shiny. When I put it on, I was just surprised at um, like the consistency of the polish itself, how concentrated the color is. It went on nicely. It was smooth. There were no streaks. And it stayed on for, I'd say, a good three or four days. Um, before I noticed any kind of like chipping at the edges and I do get a lot of chipping on my nails at work from like using the register and whatnot just wear and tear um, but it's a great polish for $2.99 and it has gel that gel technology in it so I would definitely give one of these a try they have the silver cap on them so you know it has the gel in it uh, to go along with that I bought this uh, glitter polish from Maybelline. It is called Blue Marks the Spot. This is awesome. I love that Maybelline came out with these. There's so many indie polishes that I see like on Instagram and Pinterest and whatnot and they all have this same look and I just love the chunkiness. So I got, I actually got these two to go together. These work very nicely together. I also got the black one uh, with the white in it. And I haven't used this one yet, so I'm very anxious to use that one. I get I got one of the hollow polishes from uh, Maybelline Color Show. This one is called Mystic Green. I haven't used it yet, but it looks very interesting to me. It reminds me of one of the OPI polishes. Um, I cannot remember what collection that was. Maybe like the <clears throat> Pirates of the... I don't think it was the Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't remember, but... Um, or it was a lizard, oh, I can't remember, but it looks similar to this and I missed out on that one. This one actually kind of looks blue and green, um, but anyway, very excited to try that one out. 
I went to Sally's. I actually got two of these, but I can't find the other one. These are China Glaze. This one is called Scattered and Tattered. <clears throat> these were on clearance for like $2.50. So I got two of them. I got this one and then I got the green one with the big chunks like this. These will look really nice in the fall. Um, I also <clears throat> picked this up and I bought this to go with my... Um, where's my chauffeur? This color. This is from Essie. I love wearing this color and I bought this glitter to go with it and you can see like the bits of blue in there this is from Nicole OPI by for Nicole or whatever Nicole OPI this one is called pick of the glitter and I like wearing it with like teal colors like this and also kind of like those coppery gold polishes it looks awesome with this as well um, what else? I have this one from OPI. It's called Stay the Night, and I think this was from Mariah Carey. Again, I picked this up for fall. I just love how pretty that color is. I can't believe I'm talking about fall. I'm such a summertime person, and I'm already getting things for fall. I hate it. Uh, Sinful Colors. This is called Shine on Me. They have these awesome glitter polishes. Like Sinful Colors has really stepped it up. They have some amazing polishes, a nice range of colors, a nice range of glitter polishes. Now they have the gel polishes. I'm really impressed, truly. Um, I picked this up. I can't remember if I showed this to you guys. Uh, this is called Passion for Petals. I believe I have. It's a China Glaze color, but I picked it up um, out of my collection behind me because I couldn't remember if I told you guys about this, but this is a really nice kind of warmed up pink. I like that color. I actually had that polish in mind for this glitter. so. If you want to be friends with me on Instagram, you'll see my combinations more on Instagram than you will on YouTube. I also picked up a Sally Hansen Fuzzy Coat Polish. Uh, I haven't used this yet. I'm a little bit scared to use it because I want to like it, but I have a feeling that I'm not going to. This one is called Fuzzy Fantasy. And that's what it looks like. I think I put this on like my pinky or something and I don't know, I wasn't like overly enthusiastic about it but I'm gonna try it again um, I have a green like a neon green polish that I'm gonna pair this with so I just need to actually do it and then the last person on the face of the earth to get this color mint candy apple from Essie and I like it a lot and again if you're friends with me on Instagram you've already seen all of this okay so nail polish is done Bath and Body Works Big sale, 75% off. My camera is crooked again. Let's see if I can fix that. There we go. Uh, Bath and Body Works having a huge sale or had a huge sale. I think it's kind of one of those deals where once it's gone, it's gone. Um, so they'll continue the sale. I gotta fix this because I believe that my camera is crooked. I think that's better. Um, I believe it's one of those situations where once it's gone, it's gone. It's kind of like one of those sales. Maybe they'll mark the stuff down even more. I don't know. But their shower gels were 75% off. So I stocked up on shower gels. I got a rain-kissed leaves. Sarah loves that smell. So do I. I got black amethyst. Um, honeysuckle amore. Amore. Midnight pomegranate. And I actually just got this one. It smells awesome. I love pomegranate, anything. Um, Aruba coconut, I got that one. And then I got this fresh picked strawberries. This one I think was like $3 or something. And you can see I've used that one quite a bit already. Uh, and then I got two lotions. I got the Signature Vanillas. This one is lemon. And it smells really good. And then I got this one. And I love how it smells. <sighs> My husband hates how it smells. And I, I hate that he hates it because I love the smell of this. He says I smell like his grandma. This is called Sandalwood Rose. And I got it because it's supposed to be stress relieving. He's causing me stress because he doesn't like the smell of it. And the bad thing about this is the smell is so like pungent. I mean, I put it on this morning and my son came home and he walked in and he was like, wow, what's that smell? Like he likes it. My husband hates it. I can't stand that because I like it a lot. I have to plug my camera in because the battery's getting ready to die. So I picked all that up. Uh, gosh, I really like the 
And I mean, I put I put this on. It is 4:30 in the afternoon. I put this on at like I don't know 10, and I can still smell it on my skin. And my husband doesn't like it. It's very upsetting. Okay. Um, I'm going to move on to jewelry. Now, my last video I had an overwhelming response to my earrings. I had a lot of people asking me where I got my earrings from. And I actually got these from Hot Topics uh, about two months ago. But it's um, a female skeleton. She has a skirt on. See the skirt? And then her little <clears throat> sandals. They're so cute. Every time I wear these, you know, like I get people asking me where I got them from. Um, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I was in Hot Topics the other day and I think they still had them. I think they had like one pair left and then they have a necklace. But you could probably go on to HotTopics.com and the little dress, the little skirt that she's wearing has skulls on them as well. But I had a lot of people asking me about these. Another pair of earrings that I had a lot of people asking me about were these. Um, I wore these in my MAC Favorite Lipstick video. These are Betsy Johnson earrings, and they're really, really cute. I like the little, like, uh, I like the little birds. They're really cute. I like these a lot. I got these on clearance for like seven dollars. These are fifty-dollar earrings. I got them for seven bucks, so that was a good deal. Another pair of earrings I got from Forever Twenty One, and I just think they're funny. They say "pow." And I like comic books. My son Wyatt loves, you know, like Batman and Superman and all that. So I picked those up. Those were a whopping two dollars and eighty cents. I haven't worn them yet. I've had them for like two weeks. I keep forgetting to wear them. I'm gonna wear them to work. And then these earrings that I'm wearing, I found these yesterday at Macy's. They are guess earrings. I really like these. They are. It's this brand. They were $22. I paid $10 for them. I love, love, love bargains and like shopping for sales and um, being in the right place at the right time, you know? There was like one pair of these left and I found them. I just, I really, I really like them. I don't know. They kind of remind me of like Tiffany earrings. I'll never own a pair of those, so this is probably the closest I'll get to owning anything from Tiffany's. Or actually looking like I own something from Tiffany's, apart from the fact that these actually say guess on them. Okay, moving on. <laughs> I finally picked up the face core kit from Real Techniques, which is so stupid. I mean, I love Real Techniques. The day that Ulta like launched Real Techniques, I was there that morning. Like. I was the first person in the store. I knew right where they were putting the Real Techniques brushes. I bought a ton of them. I came home. I like did a review and all kinds of stuff. I finally got these. And the main reason that I wanted this brush or these brushes was for the buffing brush and the contouring brush. I do like these two for like concealer and lipstick. Love. I'm very happy that I got these. Um, I accidentally threw my Expert Face brush in there, which I've already had. So I got those. Uh, MAC stuff. I'll show you some of the MAC things that I have. Um, I have the Smoke Lux palette. Um, for those of you that, that keep up with MAC, you know that MAC just recently launched like six new palettes. These will be part of the permanent collection. I was asked to do a video, which is what's on my eyes now. But I have this one here, which I love. This one doesn't have as many glitter eyeshadows in it as some of the other ones, like the pink one, the blue one. They have uh, quite a bit of glitter. I'm picking up the green one this weekend because the green one is awesome. I love the consistency of these eyeshadows. Uh, well, this one anyway, and the green one. They're just very easy to put on. They're very easy to blend. They're almost kind of creamy in consistency. Not like liquidy, but when you put it on, it's like very smooth to put them on, very smooth to blend, smooth like butter. I got this cream sheen lip glass or whatever you call it. It's called Fever Isle. This one was from Tropical Taboo. Very pretty color. I like it. That's what it looks like. So I have that. I picked up um, a palette finally. I have my blushes in here and then some eyeshadows. 
Uh, I just wanted to try it out for myself. It's not horrible. It is, um, it is heavier than this palette. Like this is full and this still is not as heavy as this is and this is definitely not full. So just something to keep in mind for those of you that are maybe working as a makeup artist and you've been curious about these. They're kind of heavy. So I got that. There are some new eyeshadows in there. I got, uh, I just got this one last week. This one is called Free to Be, and it is a pink. And I got um, Rule, or Red Brick. And picked up Samoa Silk. Um, and then I have a couple more here to show you. I had to like completely reorganize all of my MAC palettes and change things around. Um, this was actually given to me, these two things, by my mom because she ordered them from, I don't know why my mom would order online. I don't ask questions. But anyway, she ordered this. She didn't like it, so she gave it to me. It's a blankety lipstick. And it's actually what I have on right now. I like it. I'm, I paired it with my Giordana Rock and Rose Lip Liner, but then when I came home, home from the store, I put a little bit of strip down on just to see. So it's a good combination, strip down and blankety. So, and I like it. It hasn't turned on me. Sometimes nude type lipsticks will change on my lips. Like look a little bit, I don't know, they'll go like a little more brown or sometimes even look a little orangey if that makes any sense. Um, and then also phone number um, Eye Coal, which has quickly become one of my favorite eyeliners. Um, and I actually have this on today. It's kind of a like grayish, smoky black, which I like. I don't understand why she didn't like this one, but it's cool. Uh, so I took it. I don't mind. Um, another, uh, let's see. Some other eyeshadows that I have recently picked up. I picked up Gold Mine, which looks like that. And I've used this already. I wore yellow eyes to work yesterday. So I have, I picked up Gold Mine, and then I also picked up Sunny Spot, which is kind of like a fluorescent y, a fluorescent type yellow. It almost looks green. I picked that up and my nose is itching and then I also picked up Lucky Green this weekend I'm gonna go back and get uh, the other Smoke Lux or the uh, green palette the green Lux palette and then probably pick up like uh, I don't know I want I want the yellows like I want all the yellow type shadows so probably like Gold Mine and Gorgeous Gold what's this one? Oh no that one's Gold Mine what's that other one? Golden Rod that's it probably that one and then I want the greenish type one it's called bitter uh, so here's lucky green I've been going through this green kick lately it's kind of weird like green and yellow I picked up a paint pot which is just the black ground it's just a black and you can use this to do smoky eyes you can use it as a base under your eyeshadows so I have that uh, you could actually use this in conjunction with the smoke Lux palette like if you use this as a base and then put that gray over the top beautiful uh, I just did makeup on somebody last weekend and I used that combination and it was just, it was amazing. It looks so pretty. Um, what else? Oh, I have Girl About Town lipstick, which is still in the box. I don't know why I leave this stuff in the box. Hey, look, I'm taking it out of the box. Uh, so here's Girl About Town, one of my favorites. I like to wear this with either Beat lip liner or... Um, more to love which is a prolong and then in gratis I got the turquatic rollerball perfume which I don't know I'm kind of on the fence about the Mac perfume I don't know yet so anyway this is what it looks like I do like the packaging it's beautiful it's kind of like a teal green into yellow I really like that so I got that we'll see I don't know if any of you wear it or like it tell me why you like it because I'm really I'm trying to find a reason to like this that sounds stupid but it's true I picked up the Orpheus eye coal eyeliner it's actually a power eye pencil anyway this is from 
This is from the Tropical Taboo collection. And I love it. The color is just so completely unique. You can see some black in there and like bits of gold. Can you see that? I just, I love it. It's such a unique color. Um, and then my e.l.f. Jumbo, um, Jumbo eyeshadow stick. I like these because look, you can roll them up and down. And they have lip, uh, like lipsticks like this too. And these are only $2. What else was I going to show you? Oh, I forgot. So I love Max Chromographic Pencil. We don't sell it in our, at our counter. And the Max store by my house, they don't sell it. So it's something that you have to, to purchase online. And I really, 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 I just, I can't stand buying stuff online. I hate paying shipping and handling. I mean, maybe I'm a cheap ass, I don't know. But I just, I hate it. So instead of repurchasing my Chromographic Pencil, I found this one from NYX. It is called the Wonder Pencil. I got it in light. And it reminds me of the chromographic pencil. That's what it looks like. And with this pencil, it's the same concept. It's a multi-use pencil, so you can use this to conceal. You can use it on your waterline. You can use it uh, on your lips. It's an awesome pencil. And the good thing about this is this was only four something. Because I, I think it was, I don't know, I think it was on sale when I bought it. But it was like four something for this. So, like, I feel completely satisfied with this pencil. I've used it quite a few times now. Nobody even knows the difference. Um, so, for those of you that have been looking for a great flesh tone pencil, look into the NYX. And then you guys saw this in my last video, the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder. Awesome! I like it. Uh, it's very, very warm outside today. I put this on this morning. I did my, I made my video. I put this on. I don't remember what time it was. A couple hours ago. It's wearing very nicely. Um, it's not like settling into any of my wrinkled areas. It hasn't settled in between my eyes. Like there's no settling with this whatsoever. And I feel like my skin still looks really smooth. I don't know, I like it. Okay, and then a few more things and then we'll be done because I'm already a little over the time I want it to be. I got some new brushes. I think you guys have seen these. If you're friends with me on Instagram and Twitter, you've already seen these. And they're kind of dirty, so cut me a little slack here. I just got through using most of these. I usually brush, wash my brushes like every three days, so I'm on like day three. So these need to be washed. I got this brush here. This is awesome. It's a 287. It came out with the Tropical Taboo Collection. I'm using this to apply my concealer. It's an amazing concealer brush. You guys have seen this in videos. I love it for like padding and pulling down. Awesome brush. If you have not picked this one up, I would recommend it. The other brush that came out with that collection was the 159 brush. And this was supposed to be used with the mineralized skin finishes that came out with the collection. But I'm not using it for that. I am using it to apply my foundation. This is an awesome foundation brush. If you have not picked this up, I would do so. I believe that this brush is 30 plus dollars. I don't, I cannot remember the exact, I'm sorry. Uh, if your counter doesn't have this brush anymore, I know we have them at my counter. So you can call me at my counter and purchase one over the phone. Dillard's will ship anywhere. I don't know about international, I have to look into that, but anywhere in the United States, Dillard's will ship too. All you have to do is call me. But this is an awesome brush, and this is definitely one that I would recommend for putting your foundation on. You can also apply your mineralized skin finishes with this brush also. There's no reason why you couldn't, but I just prefer it for my foundation. I really feel like it just gives me that well-blended, airbrushed look to my skin that all of us strive for. So definitely worth the money, in my opinion. Another brush that I picked up, and I've used this one already, a lot, I think I've talked about this in videos, is the MAC 138 brush. That's what it looks like. This is why I love this brush. And I will tell you, I can put my face powder on all over with this. I can put my tan my um, bronzer on with this brush. For those of you that like to contour, you can contour with this brush because of the tip and then you can push a little bit harder to blend it up. Um, I can apply my powder right underneath my eye because of the tip on this brush. Obviously you can put your blush on with this. This is an awesome brush. 
is it's an expensive brush. I mean, like I said in my last video, if somebody came to me and said, I have X amount of dollars, I want an awesome face brush that I can do more than just apply face powder, I would suggest this one. Oh, you know what? I forgot to show you guys this. We had, um, at work, we had um, a gratis, like we won a contest. We were part of this contest. And so because we won this contest, me, like Mac, and a bunch of other people in our makeup group won gratis from Dillard. So I got this Kiehl's Facial Cleanser, which I've used quite a few times already, and I really like it. That's $9. And then I was able to pick a pair of sunglasses, which I don't... Um, hi, puppy. They're actually out there, and I don't feel like going to get them. So if you want to see what my sunglasses look like, check it out on Instagram. So now I'm at 30 minutes. I need to end this now. It's the longest haul video in the history of haul videos. So I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for watching, um, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.